Another year, another iPhone update that does not add anything in comparison to last year's phone. You know what time it is. We've been doing these for five years in a row. Now it's time to make it six years in a row. Here's everything that was announced during the Apple event today. We begin with Apple Watch, and we have the Apple Watch Series 10 with a bigger display. We have a titanium finish now. We also have sleep apnea, which apparently is a dis is, it's not I wouldn't say I wouldn't call it a disease, but it's basically a big problem that many people have when it comes to sleep. And the Apple Watch Series 10 is supposed to help with that. They have speakers right at the bottom now, so you can listen to stuff like podcasts or your music or maybe phone calls you want to make directly from the watch now so that's cool I guess and we also have some updates to Apple Watch Ultra 2 we mainly just have new finishes now like we have this big black and speaking of black finishes Jet Black is back for the series 10 when I tell you I'm marked out, like, I'm being dead serious. I was like, oh my god! Yeah, the jet black finish looks incredible. Like, I'm not even kidding when I say that. This thing genuinely looks amazing. I loved it with the iPhone 7, and now I'm loving it once again with the Apple Watch Series 10. Next up, we actually have news on AirPods, and we have the AirPods fourth generation, you know, the uh, sequel to the third generation AirPods, and they're getting a lot of stuff from the AirPods Pro 2, like the speakers on the case, uh, to help with Find My. We have personalized spatial audio now, we have, obviously you have better acoustics, better sound, you have the adaptive audio from the AirPods Pro 2, and you also have active noise cancellation in another version. There's actually two versions of this thing. One of them does not have all the other like uh, active like noise cancellation and transparency modes. The other one does and it's $50 or more expensive. But you know, I, I feel like with the price like these, I feel like people will not mind paying the extra 50 bucks, especially with the AirPods Pros starting at $250. So it's a good like, it's a good entryway AirPod if you AirPods if you say to me anyway. We also have the AirPods Max in new colors and it's still $550. Wasted. And we also have a new feature in the AirPods Pro 2 that is able to help with hearing impaired people, which I think is actually pretty cool and at least in my opinion this is like a really cool feature. I thought they were going to fully upgrade the AirPods Pro like maybe an AirPods Pro 3rd gen, but this is more than enough. Like I'm happy we get to help more hearing impaired people. So thumbs up for that. And finally, iPhones. The iPhone 16, we have a brand new camera design now. And, but the camera features themselves are not really changed a lot from the 15 or even the 14. What we do have though is the camera button where you know, you can change the, a lot of camera settings. You can change the exposure, you can change the depth of field behind your object, you can change different tones, like when it comes to the background and the foreground, and you can even remove objects directly in photos now. Like it's actually a pretty cool thing, but not a big like enough thing for me to buy a new iPhone. We also got these new colors. They finally remembered what color looks like now. And I will say these finishes look great. My personal favorite is the green one, but I don't mind people saying that the blue one or the pink one is uh, the best one in my opinion. We have the action button from the 15 Pros, so that's cool. And of course, all the Apple intelligence features. You have the Genmoji, the uh, better Siri writing tools for journalism and stuff like that. All the Apple intelligence stuff is here. So for people who are gonna use Apple Intelligence a lot, this is definitely probably a must buy for them, as even if they even if they are not really that big of Apple fanboys, honestly. Next up, iPhone 16 Pro. You have the Apple Intelligence stuff that I just talked about earlier. And and it's and it's an, and an even better chip, honestly. Like they, they they completely hyped up the A18 Pro and how it's much faster than any other chip on the market for any smartphone. There's a bigger display now, you have better Wi-Fi features, but also the camera is basically the star of the show here. Basically, you have the same camera button from the iPhone 16, but also a lot of upgrades to our cinematic mode this time. You can do slow motion, and you can even record a solid 120 frames per second. And to prove all of these features, they show a preview of a music video that they did with The Weeknd, which honestly is kind of convincing. 
because you know we have the weekend like starring in like this big production and trust me this thing was really sweet to look at and they really and they really hyped up about how like oh like raw capture pro res is like it's the way to go for video making man we also have upgrades to the cameras as well you, we actually have the 48 megapixel ultra wide and you can even have take macro photos which is something also you can do with the iphone 16 as well so all iphone 16s have macro technology now i mean i'm happy that these features are being put in iphone but i want to see something big man i want to see like like something similar to the iphone 10 remember when the iphone 10 was this huge deal i mean it's really a testament to how they should stop making iPhones every year. They need to just take a break and really recognize, okay, what is something that we can do to make even a grandma go, I want that! I want that! But until that day comes, I can say that this Apple event was disappointing, honestly. Not as hype as last year, although to be honest, last year, uh, the titanium and all this stuff really got to me, honestly. And this is the first year in like many years where I'm wondering like, okay, the iPhone hype is all for nothing. And that proves in the sales as well. I think the iPhone 15 Pro didn't sell very well at launch. So, you know, that's saying something because I heard a lot of people saying, oh, I have an iPhone 12. I want to upgrade to the iPhone 15 Pro. And apparently in the grand scheme of things, not a lot of people really upgraded. So I don't know, man. Apple is going to have to do something, anything, to make sure uh, grannies get caught with their attention. Because if grannies get, like, invested in a phone, then people like me are definitely going to get invested in this phone. But either way, I know some people are going to buy this. Tech reviewers are going to love it. I just think it's probably masturbating in the shower as we speak. So, yeah, people are hyped. But one of those people is not me. Peace.